Hi, I'm Anita, a certified Zen Tango teacher from Croatia. I'm joined today the Tango by Zen Tango named Elish. I will start with a lazy S shape, and then add another one. And I will draw an aura line inside. Now that I have this, I will extend the corners of this so that it forms like a reverse Z or Z. And after I'm done with these lines, I'll add new ones. I will make sure to extend this line below so i'm imagining that it goes below this basic shape and then continues on the other end and then i will end add an aura line so i'm giving a little bit more body to the shape and I'm just going to continue building on this. I will add aura lines to the outside of the basic S shape on both sides, making sure that I don't cross any of the lines that are already here. So I'm drawing behind what we say in Zentango. I'm adding new lines in Hollybow fashion, meaning drawing in front and behind. And depending on how bold your shape is and how big is, it is, I'm not a small tangler, so I don't have too much space to add. I will look at it now and see if I can add maybe one more layer, maybe at least to the basic shape and it can be thinner like this you can repeat this as much as you like or as much as long as you don't run run out of space but this is actually zentangles elish and i think i will just extend these to give it Maybe a little bit cuter look like that. Maybe curve these lines too. Cute, right? And when you are done with the line work and you can continue adding these layers uh, as much as you want, you can add shades and highlights and I want to shade these bottom layers the darkest so I'm adding shades and then I will extend those shades to the layer that's just next to it so I'm not even adding the pencil to it I'm just blending this darkest one and then extending it to the one that's next to it. I do want to add some shade right next to the basic shape so that you can kind of create um, an illusion that some of these are placed further away from you or closer to you, depending on what you want to create. It would be nice also to play with the shading here with some alcohol markers in different shades of gray, if you have them. But, you know, the basic Zen Tangle supplies are enough to have fun and achieve a nice look. I 
and to finish it I will take the white pencil and add some white highlight to these lightest layers that are supposed to be closest to you and then the other ones are receding into the background at least it's what I'm trying to achieve without making it too complicated because it's entangle so it has to be easy and accessible for everyone even if you are not an artist you can learn how to draw these basic shapes if you just know how to write the basic letters I see S and O because all of these tangles consist of these very basic strokes adding some more love to it before I decide that it's done well here is my Elish and now I just will finish it with the name of the tangle on the card thank you for viewing and for drawing with me bye <laughs>